I'm Emily Lucchetti, the Executive Pastry Chef at Farallon and Water Bar Restaurants. But today I'm at home and I'm going to show you how to make some crepes that you can serve with beautiful summer berries. The first thing we're going to do is make the crepes. We have two eggs. Now I'm just adding some regular milk. And if you wanted to use two and a half percent milk, you could. And then we're going to add a little bit of water because that helps make the crepes a little bit thinner. And then we're going to add a combination of flour, cornstarch, and a little pinch of salt. And I like to use cornstarch instead of just all flour because it helps make the um, crepes just a little bit um, thinner and lighter. And we're just going to whisk that together. And you want to whisk it pretty vigorously because you want it to be nice and smooth. Some people will put it in a blender, but I don't usually do that because I don't like cleaning out the blender. So we're just going to whisk this until it gets nice and smooth. And then we're going to add a little bit of vanilla, just a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and some melted butter. Now this crepe batter you could actually make several days ahead and just let it sit in the refrigerator. When we're doing crepes at one of the restaurants, we'll make a big vat of it and that way you don't have to make it so often and just whenever you want to make a few fresh crepes, just um, pull it out and you're ready to go. Now to make the crepes, I like to use a Teflon pan. You can find the traditional French crepe pans all over the place, but I think these work a lot better. And what you're going to do is just take a little bit of that crepe mixture and pour it in the pan and as you're pouring, swirl it around so you get a nice thin um, mixture on the bottom. And if you find that you've put too much in, just take the pan and just um, turn it upside down and let the uh, extra batter fall back into the original container. And then when you're ready to flip the crepe, you can either um, take a small offset spatula or a knife and just lift it out with your, um, to your fingers and then just flip it over like that. Now that I've finished making all these gorgeous crepes, we're going to make the filling for the crepes and then we're going to make the sauce. So what we're going to do for the um, filling is I have some ricotta cheese here and we're going to put some sugar in and that's just a little bit to take the, the edge off of the tartness of the cheese. And then I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla, just a half a teaspoon. And then we're going to add an orange zest, some orange zest. And this is a microplaner here. So it takes the orange and just grates it. And you don't need the whole orange because these oranges are pretty big. So that just gives it a little bit of um, orange flavor. And we're gonna mix those together. And if you could also use fromage blanc, you could use cream cheese, you could really use any kind of cheese or anything that's thick that you um, wanted to. So now that that's all put together, we're gonna take two of our crepes and put them right here and we're just going to take a little bit of the ricotta mixture. You don't need much. Just put it in there and then I'm going to fold them up like a, into a square and then you're going to turn them over seam side down so they will stay up. So here's the pan and I'm going to go ahead and add some orange juice. And you want that nice and hot because you want the juice to really be able to um, reduce. And depending on the orange juice, if it's really sweet, you don't have to add any sugar at all. If you taste it and it's a little bit tart, add a tablespoon of um, sugar. But I've tried this and it's delicious as the way that, it, way that it is. And now I'm gonna get this wooden spoon and I'm gonna actually add some butter. And we're gonna stir that in. Now you want that butter to melt down like this before you add your berries because if you cook it, because you want the sauce to reduce a little bit and if you add the berries too soon, they're just going to um, break apart. So we probably don't need all these berries. So I have strawberries and blackberries and raspberries and you can use any combination of berries that you want or that you have. And you just want to cook this through gently until they're um, nice and warm. You don't want to cook them so far that they break apart. So now that the sauce is ready, I'm just going to take a spoon and we're just going to ladle on some berries. And I've used a, non, a slotted spoon because I don't want too much juice to get on there, but you want to get all the berries. And then you can just take your pan and just pour
a little bit there. So there you go. And now this is a dessert that you have to serve right away. But serving means right away means eating right away.